Hello YouTube, it's Adam again. And this is a teardown I did on a DVD VCR combo player. And I threw all the chassis and everything else away, including the actual DVD. Well, no, I kept the DVD carriage, but not the VCR cassette carriage. I threw that thing away. And in the actual case, who cares about that? I don't. It was just going to take up extra space anyways. Thing is, the VCR side didn't actually work. Well, it, it didn't, it didn't. The mechanism was screwed up. It actually tried to eat my Bruce Lee VHS tape, and it snapped the tape in two. So, I did an old school splice on it and spliced it back, so it's missing a little small segment of that movie now. Well, anyway... Ridiculousness out of all ridiculousness. This movie was in there. Doodle buffs? Get on the bus? Yeah. I played it actually for two seconds and then these two seconds later I shut it off because it was incredibly ridiculous. It's teaching the kids nothing actually. Just musical crap and they weren't even good band. They're just if anyone knows anything about this, you probably know how crappy they are. And that's probably why they didn't eject the disc, because the disc would actually eject. And that's how I got it out. But they figured, ah, throw the whole thing away. Who cares? The hell with it. And that's going in the bin. Who cares, really? And what we have here. This little jobby thing right here, I have no idea. There's no limit on it. You just keep on spinning it. So what is it? Like some kind of a uh, variable resistor? Your guess is as good as mine. We got an array of electrolytic capacitors. Some NPN and PMP transistors right there. There's one right there. Some, looks like an NPN. And this big capacitor right here. 150 microfarad and 200 volts. And looking all over this, I found the date code actually. You go ahead and shut the light off for you. And see it? Manufactured on the 22nd month, on the 23rd day in 2005. So, yeah, it's pretty old, but not too old. Alrighty. Some ribbon cable I've just cut off with scissors. Because it wouldn't come out any other way unless I cut it. There's our power transformer. That's pretty useful. Some nice resistors. And look at that choke coil. That's pretty nice. There's some green status LEDs indicating the status of what the damn thing's doing. Momentary switches for obviously changing stop, play, eject. All that good jazz. Those ones are green, and I guess two more red status LEDs, and some more momentary switches. And they're all very useful in lots of electronic projects. We have a tall post one right here, momentary switch, and another status LED that's red. Boring. There's an electrolytic can capacitor that could be useful. And this, I don't quite understand what it's an infrared LED and how I knew that was I took my camera here on the back there's three volt power source battery carriage and just went ahead soldered the positive lead to it and oh it's kind of hard to see Did it, it, yep see that it's definitely an infrared LED because it's not being able to see by the naked eye but that is lighting up purple that's on now what the hell is it doing on the inside of the kit the unit I didn't even see a receiver over it kind of weird 
brings us to the back. Go ahead and desolder that right quick. I guess I didn't pull it away in time, but that's okay. Get off of there. Uh, got some chips. That's <laughs> these buggers try to scrape off the numbers on this, or oh, it's just really worn. Who knows? There's another chip processor. And it's a double sided board, obviously. They put the chips on the back. Digital, digital analog converter. Got our SMD. Resistors and capacitors. All those little SMD resistors and capacitors. And. I have to think it was wave soldered. Oh, no PB, meaning no lead. What the hell is it? Just tin and some other non-lead solder on here? There's the AV input output jacks. It's got an S-video jack. So it was just in the year 2005, it started to come out as people, you know, made flat screen TVs. Companies made those. Uh, got another little infrared LED right there. Actually, it looks completely black. It's not, it doesn't look translucent at all. So that's kind of strange. Some way it communicates with the re Oh. Yeah. One must be the transmitter. There's another one right there, and one must be the receiver. To communicate with something in here, <laughs> some kind of communication going on inside this thing, but <laughs> not anymore. There's for the remote. There's a infrared receiver. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> and there's our fuse, which <laughs> is not blown. It is just a thing of beauty, which I'm gonna harvest all the electrolytic capacitors from and use. I might pop a few of them. Who knows? Oh, just your standard video and audio mono jack. Looks like an input. Mono audio and your video input. Just plug a camcorder or something in there. Yeah, that's about it for this thing. Ribbon cables, of course, I don't care about. I'm just going to cut those off. And... Yeah, there's nothing really else interesting about this. Probably get some of those dials off right there. Save them, salvage them. And the electrolytic capacitor right there. No. It's, I'm sorry, it's a ceramic capacitor. But yes, that electrolytic one right there beside it. But I'm getting the ceramic ones, too. They could be good for a lot of electronic projects. There's a nice green ceramic. Oh, we have a quartz crystal oscillator on here. Let's see if I can get that lined up next. Yep, there it is right there. It's gonna, obviously it was for the clock function on the TV, the VCR. So you can time it. It's you know, the quartz oscillators are for keeping time because of this frequency they generate. And my cord's getting all tangled up in that fucking bracket. Alright. Yeah. Whole bunch of unpopulated sections right here were components. I guess because they use the same boards and they update it with newer models or whatever. They keep, they have unpopulated boards sections on the board for putting more components on when they build a, no, a new unit of anything and an ass load of jumpers <laughs> look at all those jumpers wow a lot of useful stuff on this board and, you know average people just throw them out they don't care they don't know the value of 
the PCB boards or the components on them for an electronics enthusiast such as myself which I can just utilize a lot of these components not necessarily the chips really can't do jack shit with those but and the actual board when I strip everything off is garbage what am I going to do with the board once it's unpopulated by I take all the electronics out components electronic components it's amazing we've come a long way since 2005 this thing was a dinosaur I never would have included it in my array. There's a nice little cost. $30 DVD player right there. Yeah, it's the silver one on the top of the Samsung VCR. <laughs> Which is not even connected. It's plugged into the mains, but it's not even connected to the TV. That is a... Somebody threw that away, too. That's a Tandy. His four... Uh, is an amplifier for audio. What's nice about this is you've got your balance, you got your tone, your volume, and the mix between the A and the B channels. That's right, you can plug stereo, two, sep two separate stereo channels in here. And you can mix between the both. It's not bad speakers, but of course it's got a uh, some speaker terminals for these X bass speakers that somebody threw away, which don't sound bad, and there is not a damn thing wrong with it. Pretty much like 90% of stuff that people throw away, there's nothing fucking wrong with it. <laughs> and this Tandy has a bass speaker on the bottom, you really can't see. I'm not going to pick it up and mess up my array for right now, but it, believe me, it's got a bass speaker on the bottom, and it thumps pretty good. It can't be more than like 12, 15 watts. But yeah, it does provide a good bass response while watching DVDs. And there's some switches on the back where I can have all these speakers plus these speakers going at the same time. And definitely mix between the audio sources. So this thing could definitely utilize recording music and monitoring music as well for the guitars as your personal amplification just monitor which I haven't done yet but it's a good idea oh the Beast Panasonic 1987 that's something you really haven't seen yet but Facebook has seen it what I like about it is that graphic equalizer right there nice analog graphic equalizer speakers are kind of weird they're they're really good that's your tweeter and your uh, bass speakers right there and they have terminals on the back of the speakers and they got terminals on the sides you know they clip on and off that because I plug in these Iowa speakers to get quadraphonic sound and yes it runs all four speakers at the same time, all six speakers so I got more bass and I definitely got more sound quality for this old stereo yes I definitely love old electronics and this thing did belong to man Judy who passed seven years ago god bless her soul god rest her soul because uh she had a routine colonoscopy and she know she didn't know nobody knows she was bleeding internally for almost a week and it, when they found out it was too late she was already passed by the time she was hospitalized when they found out yeah it makes me a little sad but yeah i can definitely get over it She's in a better place. Well, that's my teardown, and now this is my uh, teardown piece that I'm going to utilize components from. And I'm going to see the time on my computer. Oh, it's 12 28 a.m. Well, looks like I'm off to bed pretty soon. Well, it's been fun, YouTube.
one more thing. There's my soldering iron, and I built this in high school. Of a galvanized steel. My little toolbox is my for my electronics and tools. Whole bunch of miscellaneous crap in there for electronics, but it's mm, I did an okay job. I got a B on it. <sighs> Everything's riveted on the latches. Snatch, remember that movie? Yeah. Neither do I. <laughs> so I put that sticker on because I got it for free from a friend. Alright YouTube, well you have a good night, actually a good morning since it's after, in Michigan it's after 12, 12 o'clock, it's 12.30, great, sleep well tonight, and yeah, I should sleep well tonight, had kind of an early day, kind of a boring, just non-productive day, but, you know, now, you guys take care. And I'll catch you on the flip side with another upload very soon. Okay. Peace out.